It was really good, very exciting. It's um, just really nice to see sort of two community groups that haven't necessarily played in competitive situations before just having a go, and it's uh, sort of quite a nice local derby almost. So, yeah, really impressive, really enjoyable. So, tell me a little bit about how Rounders is, is developing. Okay, um, so recently Rounders England have got um, a large funding grant from Sport England and the National Lottery to help uh, improve community links um, within sort of nationally but also in the East region. So, I'm the development officer for the East of England. Um, so I've got a development budget so, um, and we're sort of putting on projects such as this, working with Thurrock Council and other local authorities across the region to sort of uh, deliver return to rounders projects, uh, but also looking at sort of younger groups as well, so um, sort of under 16 stuff as well as. Because it is one of these sort of democratic sports, mm, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, like you can see this evening, we've got sort of, um, you know, men and women, lots of different age groups. I think um, sort of everybody who's ever played rounders sort of enjoys playing it. It's one of those that even those people that hate it at school loved playing rounders. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a great game for everybody to get involved with. 
it is this, I guess, this is getting quite dark. Yes. It's half seven. End of the season, so <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So um, the season's very similar to the cricket season. So we start kind of like outdoors in April, going through to about sort of September time. Um, but we have actually recently developed a new indoor version of the game. So sort of working with um, Mandy and the Thurrock group at the moment to sort of organise some indoor sessions, which will run throughout the winter. And I think they're looking to do the same over in Haverhill and Upminster. So maybe we'll have a couple more sort of local games actually indoors as well as.